It is I. What's my name again? Kronos. It is I. I'm sorry I forgot my name. I've been very busy. It is I, Kronos, king of the monkey people. Now, when I say monkey people, I don't mean we're actual people. We're monkeys. The two are in no way connected. <laughs> Or, or are they? I know that's a controversial subject, but that's just the kind of dangerous comedy I like to do. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, if you can't handle it, Grandma, then uh, look out, then. <laughs> you can catch me on my comedy special on the History Channel. <laughs> that's right, I'm doing an hour on Napoleon. It's hilarious. <laughs> Napoleon, he's little, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, it gets kind of old after a while. Uh, now, look, um, a lot of people say to me, a talking monkey! Uh, uh, and I... I put them at their ease. I say, you know, I, sometimes you have to just pretend you're something you're not to make people feel more comfortable. I say, no, no, I'm not a talking monkey. Just relax. I'm a very astute midget. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm a very hairy little person. <laughs> that was a dreadful combination of a big word and an offensive word. <laughs> in the same sentence. <laughs> right, well, I haven't been on the show for a while, and I think we're all beginning to remember why. <laughs> but if you have learned anything from this election, good. <laughs> Tonight's performance by Dr. Dog is brought to you by T-Mobile. T-Mobile has families covered on America's largest 4G network. Great, you've made the warm-up guy very proud. And... You know, it's funny, he was going to be fired today, but that genuine response that he's managed to get out of you means one more day for him. You're not, you know, remember, you're not laughing for yourselves. You're laughing to keep an American in a job. You at home, too. I'm an American. <laughs> and it's a great day for America, everybody. It is a great day. It's it genuinely is a great day for America because finally the 2010 elections are over. Finally, we can get started on the campaign for 2012. Hooray! <laughs> you lying bastard. <laughs> After the elections last night, Fox News were like, it's a big upset, and MSNBC were like, there were no surprises, and the E! Channel was like, we need more Kardashians, and the, the, 
the Bravo channel was like, you're not wearing that, mister. And, uh, and CBS were like, finally, nothing about Charlie Sheen in the news, all right? <laughs> and <laughs> I watched the election coverage last night on CNN. It was very distracting. There's a lot of guys hunched over laptops, a lot of noise going on. They're constantly being erupted. Uh, erupted, yes, erupted. <laughs> There was a volcano in Seattle. No, they were being interrupted, not erupted. Oh. I just thought of that too. I went, oh. No, they were being interrupted, all the CNN panelists, by the loud graphics and the computer updates and um, text messages from Brett Favre. <laughs> I didn't say it properly. Brett Favre. Yeah, they were gonna. Whoa, there's a big swing to the right in Minnesota. That kind of thing. <laughs> well, not that big, but it's called Minnesota. I think you know what I'm saying. You know who did very well yesterday was the Tea Party. Wow. <laughs> Do you tell? Well, I will. I will tell my bony friend. They say the tea party that they're sending a message. Now, I'm not sure what that message is. I, I think it might be... Bah. Uh, no, I think the message is, we're the tea party. We hate coffee. You know, I just think they need to pick a tougher name. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not talking about that. But just tea party doesn't sound that intimidating, does it? I mean, it sounds like something I do with my ferrets every Sunday. I do. <laughs> I know I do every Sunday. It's adorable. <laughs> I have a little, I throw a little tea party, me and my ferret. <laughs> do we have a picture of my ferret tea party? It is sexy time. It is sexy time, yeah. The ladies like a man that wears a purple hat and has the company of ferrets. <laughs> Favre, yeah. <laughs> and even though uh, uh, everything went great yesterday for the tea party, well, there was uh, one... They, they're, uh, Christine O'Donnell, their princess, didn't, she lost her race in Delaware by nearly 20%. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I too was fake sad about it. <laughs> no, I was. In a brief uh, concession speech, uh, she said, I'm melting, melting! <laughs> she, uh... <laughs> Do you know what she said? And she said she blames the Republican Party for her loss. And I'm like, really? It was the Republican Party? It wasn't the dabbling in witchcraft? It wasn't the, it wasn't the believing in mice with human brains? It, it wasn't the anti-masturbation stance? That stance, that makes you unelectable in 48 states. It's such a... I mean, that is so extreme. Even guys in the Al-Qaeda are like, it's a bit too extreme for us. But, uh, what are you talking about? No masturbation? Why are you? Oh, no, 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 no. What else is there to do in the caves of Tora Bora? <laughs> anyway, uh, Christine says she's planning to retire to the country where she'll lure children into her house made of candy and gingerbread. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really mad she didn't get in. I was really... <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, I know, but it was just, it's fun for me. Anyway, the Republicans <laughs> won control of the House, so now we have a new Speaker of the House. Do we have his picture there? There he is. Um, that's, uh, his name's John Boehner, but because of the way it's uh, spelled. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! That's right! That's right! So, all right, we lose Witchy Poo, but we've got Mr. Boner! Uh, yeah! Now, in your pants. <laughs> no, you Too know. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> no, it's because of the way it's spelled. It's not spelled like that. It's, it's mistaken for boner, but it's not actually boner. <laughs> By the way, mistaken for boner is the name of Lady Gaga's autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> picture of uh, Mr. Bonner. Uh, uh, there he is, yeah. <laughs> Somebody sets his tanning booth to Snooky. <laughs> I wish his name really was Boner, though. It would make the headlines awesome to read. Boner reaches across the aisle. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. No, don't! 
Was it that moderates hope to bend boner? <laughs> got it, got it. Boner, hard on crime. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Here in the great state of California, we have a new governor, um, hasta la vista, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> now I can go back to making the movies and grabbing the boobies. <laughs> that was Arnold Schwarzenegger, that was... You're like, who the hell was that? Was it... Gilbert Gottfried was in the election? What the hell? Anyway, I wonder if Arnold will go back to acting, or maybe he'll try something he's good at. Nah, he'll go back to acting. <laughs> No, he will go back to acting because people are desperate for a sequel to the movie Jingle All The Way. <laughs> and when I say people, I mean Sinbad. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's a great movie. Um, I've, I've never seen it, but it's great. <laughs> it's commercial break time. Our commercial break time. <laughs> That's what I just said. I said it was commercial break. I didn't do arg like a big gay pirate, but I, uh, but I did say it was commercial break. Why do you feel the need to say everything I say again? Our commercial break time. <laughs> we have to take a break, but when we come back, we've got a great show. <laughs> the same. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? To tweet or not to tweet? That is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to... Oh, play the... I can have Jingle. Twitter, Twitter. Tweeting. Tweeting. Ephemeral. Ephemeral. Fleeting. Fleeting. Flug and web. Face coat. Quit zone. Ass mode. Checks and tweets. Checks and tweets. Checks and tweets. Checks and tweets. And also emails. And also the emails. Oh, I've got a whole stack of emails to get through tonight. I'll never get through them all. Who's that? It's not Secretariat, is it? It's no, it's <laughs> Lewis Blackburn. <laughs> Lewis. That's that's amazing. You're here because in between the emails I was actually reading your book which is out yes. very soon I'm dreaming of a black Christmas oh god <laughs> right, uh... <laughs> I was just reading that, and then yeah. you come out. What, it's such a surprise. I, I think it's a shock to me, too. Yeah. I wasn't even here. You're not even... <laughs> I've hired another person to be me. You're a hologram? Exactly. Yeah. If, if you can work with a robot, I can be a hologram. Why not? This, actually, let's have a quick look at this book. Is it any good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, well, you heard it here, everybody. <laughs> Well, no, why, now, why is it a black Christmas? Is it some kind of... Uh... Because it's me. Oh, black, it? black Christmas. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. wow. <laughs> Woo. Woo -hoo. No, I actually do. Yeah. <laughs> do you wear silk pajamas in your real life? No. No. All right, do you smoke cigars? No. Do you wear a Santa hat? No. Do you have a stuffed squirrel on your mantelpiece? No. So this is a lie! Yes. <laughs> It's, it's, it's the illusion of the life I wish I lived. Wait a minute. There's a, there's a Han Hanukkah uh, menorah. It's a menorah, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's burning down a Christmas tree. <laughs> okay. Why? Here, here's what, here's the, the, on the cover of the book, yeah. uh, my eyes are open. I wanted it to look like I had passed out and the cigar's like this and I'm burning and the menorah's back here like I don't know what's going on and right. I'm burning the tree. And you're drunk and all. Exactly. Yeah. Right, right, right. And, uh, and, but the people at the book, you know, at Riverhead said uh, that people wouldn't recognize me with my eyes closed. Well, you know, let's try it. Let's okay, try it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, okay. You, you, eyes open? Mm-hmm. 
Perfectly normal, Lewis. But close your eyes, please. Who the hell is this? <laughs> wow, they're right. <laughs> wow, these book cover people, they don't go to college for nothing. <laughs> Well, you know, what's your take on Christmas, very briefly, or do you, uh, does it my, have to be long? My, no, it doesn't have to be All long. Right. I, can, I can do it. It's just that uh, it's a great time of the year for families, and if you're a single person like myself, yeah. you get more and more massively depressed as you realize you have no legacy, you have no family, you have created nothing. <laughs> and that's really what the book's about. It's a laugh riot! <laughs> That's great. Well, you don't just talk about you don't just talk about Christmas. You got th Thanksgivings in here. It's the things. whole holiday season. Yeah, it right. starts, you know, it starts winter. Halloween, ends at Super Bowl. Exactly. That's what I say every yep. year. Yeah. And this yep. year they kind of held off a little. Finally, you know, they did? it didn't really start. At, you know, usually it was starting at Labor Day, but they've kind of cooled it a little. Well, that's because because Starbucks doesn't have all the stuff. Though usually Starbucks are the ones that start. You well, go to Starbucks yeah. in July and they've got the pumpkin well, yeah, lattes. That, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and who wants a pumpkin latte? I, I, don't, I don't want a pumpkin latte. I don't, pumpkins are not for lattes. Huh? Pumpkins are barely... Look, I don't believe that even pumpkins make pumpkin pie. Have you ever opened one? Have you smelled it? It's disgusting. They're gross, I know. When you have to hollow them out... Oh, like, yeah. Oh, oh. It's like, you get that stuff on your hands for I know, weeks. I know. And then, and then you've got to hollow out the pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shut up. All right, so, oh, your book, I'm Dreaming of a Black Christmas, is out this Christmas list. Will you help me with the email? It's a please? stocking stuffer. Really? Is that, is that what the... Is that what That's the, what the deal is! That, is, that, is, that, is that what the eye people say? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's a stocking stuff? That's what I... That, that's I think what... it's a good idea, because it's... Yeah, it's quite small. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the writing's small, so you get plenty of value for your word. Exactly. <laughs> all right, let's... All right, can let's, we let's Twitter. Yeah, all right. Then. Do you Twitter? I do, actually. Do you? Okay, that's it. <laughs> you let's... don't? You don't Twitter? I haven't recently, to be honest. I, I've been Twittering a lot, and then I've, I've realized I really have nothing to say. I don't have to, I don't really think, if someone is interested in the fact that I'm buying shoes, something's wrong somewhere. They are pretty nice shoes, though, man. They I, are nice shoes. Are they, that, that a moccasin you're wearing there? It's kind of a mock moccasin. A mock moccasin? <laughs> yes. It's the appearance of a moccasin, but really it's a shoe. Ah. So, are there other, are there other tricks in your apparel? For example, your pants look like pants, but they're actually a self-pleasuring device? It's... if only they were. <laughs> all right, you've probably got a self-pleasuring device in there somewhere. Um, all right, this is from Jackson in Arlington, Texas. Do you ever go to Texas? Yeah. Really? Mm hmm They love me in Texas. Do they really? Yeah. You yeah. surprise me. Yeah, you know. They go, you know, yeah, why wouldn't they like me? I, I wear my boots there. Ah. My Are mock they boots. Mock boots? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Jackson says, uh, Dear Craig, please don't mention the World Series. I'm really bummed. Oh, yeah, we should probably talk about the World Series. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Texas, uh, San Francisco, any. Uh, that was a real red state, blue state World Series it right was. there, yeah. I, I really, in the end, didn't care because m my problem with s sports, especially baseball, is I need a, a, I find that I need a team to hate in order to, to have any interest in the sport. Right. And, and once the Yankees were gone, I had nobody uh, to hate. I see where you're going, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. The view's endorsed by yeah. the studio audience. Uh, I mean, my teams, my teams are the Washington Nationals and the Baltimore Orioles. If you combine <laughs> them, I still don't have a team. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a... See, the good thing about moving, emigrating to a new country is you can pick a team that's doing very well and choose them as your team. At least I thought you could do that. That's why I, when I was picking a football team, I chose the... Uh-oh, Chargers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, early promise, and then always... What's that coming to go? Bed every year. <laughs> Am I cussing? I'm sorry, I forgot. That's why I never mention sports. I, get, I don't like getting passionate about things. I don't. Really? That's, no, I don't. I, I hate getting drawn into the fight. That's why I try not to talk about politics too much in the show. Because it, it makes me... Everyone gets so annoyed and furious. Oh, yeah. No, I, get, you do it all I get psychotic. Yeah. I, 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 I lose my grip. But, but sports is a place where I can displace it because you can yell whatever you want and nobody cares. You can go, I suck, you suck, we suck. And everybody goes, wow, what a great fan.
It's kind of like being on at 12.30 on CBS, actually. It's, really, it's a very similar thing. <laughs> All right, this is from uh, Christie in Harrisburg in uh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, near yeah. the... Uh, where they had the... Yeah. Where the, yeah, where the thing blew up. Blew it, yeah, she, she may have been... She, no, she's all right, she's, she's all right. She's okay? Yeah, yeah, she's, I think so. Well, actually, no. <laughs> she says... She says, Dear Craig and Lewis, which is weird. She, oh, oh. I made that up. Uh, uh, while I'm usually good about going to bed early, lately I've been a bit of an insomniac. Any sleep remedies? She can't sleep. How do you get to sleep when you can't sleep? Uh, it's horrible. I can't... I'm, I've, I have... Uh, I don't have insomnia, but I don't... I don't sleep well. I'm up every two hours. I'm like up, I'm like, oh! What's, and then I and then it takes about ten minutes. Do you live in a haunted house? No, I. Well, <laughs> that's, ah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I, I too live in a haunted do you, house. I mean, well, you know, you, when you do shows and stuff, like oh. you know, you, you're we're wired. And yeah, then I it's, can't get to sleep after. Yeah, so. do you what? Do you have a sleep remedy? Um, I used to, but it had some very disastrous side effects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. The old rehab to sleep, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. But I tell you, that luckily this commercial break uh, coming up is pretty long, so I'll be able to read your book. Uh, <laughs> it's actually, no, it, it's, there's a lot of pages in here. I mean, look, this, this is like it's up, up in the 200s. Yeah, it's the third book. It's your third book? Yeah. That makes you an author. <laughs> That, well, that's how they suckered me into writing this. So, yeah, once you make th one, it's three, but you're like, one book, you're just a celebrity douchebag. Yeah. Two books, it's like, I never thought he'd write another book. Yeah. Three books, yeah. you're an author. And they, or, or they go, stop it! Don't write another! No, they won't do that. Not as long as there's money to be made and the old, you know, keeping your eyes open. <laughs> All right, uh, well, Lewis Black, uh, the book's called I'm Dreaming of a Black Christmas. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. everybody my next guest is on the show glee um, which is the show that makes this show look heterosexual <laughs> anyway glee it's on tuesdays on fox take a look at this then if anything shows oh well Kind of quality programming that's ruining it for the rest of us. <laughs> Please welcome Jama Mays, everybody. Jama Mays. Lovely. What a lovely... May I say, you look adorable with your green top well, and your thank you. lovely red hair. Thank you very much. You, uh... That was good. That but singing, it was good. You liked it? Yeah, I it did. It was okay. And Jema's a lovely name, is that... Thank you. What kind of a name is that? Um, well, I think my parents made it up. I think they were... They were trying to be hippies, that's what I think. Trying to be hippies? Yeah, my... Or actual hippies? Well, I think they were trying to be. They weren't cool enough. Sorry, they... I mean, they're great parents, No, 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 it's okay. Hippies are not cool. Hippies aren't no, cool? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, no, I've been so confused all these years. No, no, no. You see people that say, oh, I follow the Grateful Dead? They're not cool. They're not cool. No, no, no. So I might be cool. 
You know you are. Are you cool? Um, I I would love to say that. Um, but no. Well, let's let's have a little bit of a test. Let's okay. see if you're cool. Oh, um, no, a test. I'm already nervous, and now. Well, see, that's that's not cool. That's not. No. That's gonna work against you. So okay. let's All try right. again. Um, I'm well, so not nervous. All oh, right, no. Did I pass? Well, so, well, that no, we're not done yet. Oh, All right, okay. okay. All right. All right. I am gonna leave a dollar. Oh. Here. Money. That's exactly what it is. Yes. <laughs> You're American, right? I am American. Right, okay. So this is what we use for money here. Okay. Um, Currency. Right. Now, I'm going to leave it here, and you're going to not steal it. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> you're not cool at all! Oh, dang it! You were going to steal that! I was. Well, you can have it then. Well, at least you're honest. I'm rich. <laughs> Really? What are they paying you over at Fox? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that song was from the Rocky Horror Show, wasn't it? It was. It I, was. I've done that show before. I've heard. You played Brad. I did. I played Brad Majors, the all-American kid. Yes. I know. Yes. <laughs> How was that? You know, now as I think of it, this is the stupidest piece of casting I can think of. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Have you ever seen that show? Do you ever go to the theaters and throw rice and all that? I have toast. You throw toast and you squirt water at people. Yes, that's that's what you really want when you're an actor actually performing the show. That yeah. makes it great fun. That's right. <laughs> that's right. No, you know, I actually performed that show here in Los Angeles not long after I moved here. It was a very small theater, like a 99-seater theater. Did you play Janet Weiss? I played Janet. Oh. And um, that was my Touch a Touch Me was my audition song for Glee. That's adorable. Thank you. Well, you see, that is, in fact, quite cool. You can have another dollar, actually. Oh, my. <coughs> there you go. Hey, now, wait. Wait. I just had an idea. Okay. We should have a kind of a game show thing behind us, like okay. win a dollar. Okay. Well, like, like, well, here it would be more like a, a carny thing. But, you know, like, I'll okay. ask you a question. You get okay. it right, I'll give you a dollar. Can All right. you have another question? Yeah, another sure. Question? Right, okay. I'm well, this question is for a dollar. Okay. All right, and if you get the question wrong, I ping your wrist with the elastic band. Oh, okay. Okay. So, you got to make a decision. Elastic band, a dollar. Okay, for now, I'm going to go with the dollar. Okay, well, well. All right. Okay. All right, this question is, who were... Yes. ...the no. main influences mm -hmm. of the French existentialist Jean-Paul Sartre? I think that was Marc Jacobs. <laughs> no, not the dollar. Not the dollar. Is that gonna hurt? Yes. <laughs> A lot. All right. Oh, have the dollar then. You're too adorable for me to hurt. Hooray! Now, where are you from, Jamie, with your hippie parents? Um, I am from a very small coal mining town. I'm not putting my money there because I don't trust you. So. <laughs> I'm gonna actually stuff it. Oh, here. you trust me? You, you don't trust me, so you're putting it in I'm there? Yeah. In there. I just wanna make sure I leave with it. Um, I'm from a very. <laughs> Uh, I'm from a very small coal mining town called Grundy in Virginia, in the Appalachian Grundy. Mountains. Yes. That's a lovely name for a town. Mm. Grundy in mm -hmm. Pennsylvania, you say? Virginia. Virginia. That's Why okay. did I say Pennsylvania? Should I get a dollar for that? Yeah. Right. You got yeah. it wrong. <laughs> ah, they grow up so fast, don't they? <laughs> Now, tell me, are your parents were hippies in a coal mining town? That's going to be tricky. They weren't really hippies. They're going to be really angry if I say that. They weren't really hippies. They were just, they were creative. <laughs> so they were creative in a, well, you could be creative and be a coal miner. Of course. Yeah. Yes. My, my father actually owned a business that tested the coal that came out of the, the coal mine. So he was well, a coal miner. he had a fire? It kind of. <laughs> Yes. Put that on. Yep, it's working. Uh-huh. Is that it? Basically. Basically in a nutshell, yes. Yeah. And did you have a big family when you lived there? I have a brother and a sister and a mother and a father. <laughs> well, I guess they do things kind of weird and grunty. <laughs> <clears throat> now, uh, did they pressure you to go down the mines? I'm sure it was the family business. You've got to go down the mines, young lady, and right. dig with, for coal. <laughs> with my canary. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. yes, the canary. Yeah, Do you have right. a canary? They, I don't have a canary, no. Well, you can buy one now with your $4. I, can. I might get four. <laughs> I don't know how much is a canary these days. 20 bucks. 20 bucks 20 for a canary? Bucks. 
I'd still More go. questions, oh, yeah. please. <laughs> All right. This one's for the canary. Okay. All right. Um, do you have any pets? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Uh, are they cats? Yes. Oh. <laughs> now. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> doing so do well. you th do you think your cat knows things? Like what things? You know, like it's intuitive. It knows things about like people. Like ESP. Yeah, that kind of thing. Um, yes. <laughs> All right, tell me about you. You're out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're out. Um, so, uh, what? He, he reminds me of an old boyfriend. I just have to say that. <laughs> no way you dated him. <laughs> I mean, you're cute, but you ain't his type. <laughs> it's gay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've had some of those too. It's okay. <laughs> really? I haven't. <laughs> Um, what about, um, what about your cats then? How many cats have you got? I've got two cats. What are they called? Fraulein and Heidi. <laughs> oh, is that funny? Is that funny? <laughs> you have German cats? <laughs> Do they a little okay. pause march up and down your kitchen? <laughs> Do you hear them? Are they German cats? I don't think so. I don't think so. One's a calico and one's a mutt. <laughs> No, that doesn't, doesn't sound German to me. Why did you give your cats German names? I don't know. I just like, I, when I looked at this little calico cat, I thought, Fraulein. It just right. fits. And then I got the other cat, and I loved the book Heidi, and the movie Heidi with Shirley Temple, so I named... They just kind of went together, Fraulein and Heidi. Shirley Temple, the, as a movie star, is kind of a little before your time, isn't it? You... I just look really good for my age. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in your early 90s, then? <laughs> Coal mining was pretty tough in the 19th century, as I believe, yeah. <laughs> hey, we're out of time. Uh, that's it, you're, you're done here. Oh. <laughs> Not forever. No, just, you know, just... Well, you, you can stay for the end, I suppose. I'm kind of busy. Are you busy? Yeah. <laughs> well, would you like a mouth organ? I'm sorry? A mouth organ? For one to keep? Can I keep it? For doing a little tune with me now, Mrs. Glee Musical, okay. the talented person. Okay, I'll give it a go. All right. Just, you know. It's all wrapped in everything. That's right. So For your sanitation and protection. I can't get it out, though. Help, I need help. So you'd be rubbish down a coal mine, I tell you that. <laughs> getting coal out of a seam is much harder than getting a mouth organ out of a box. <laughs> This way. <laughs> this way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep going so the sensor doesn't notice what happened. You ready? Can you play? Sure. Okay, you ready? <laughs> A one, two, one, two, three. a big timey rock stars then uh, november the 4th they're at the fillmore in san francisco the 5th uh, they're at the wiltern in la they're here performing someday from the album shame shame please welcome back the brilliant dr dog everybody dr dog yeah.
Sunday kind Then left me alone I should have known right then that I stayed too long I should have known If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? Meow. 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 You know... Those kittens should be on Glee. <laughs> well, what did we learn on the show? I'll tell you what we learned. Uh, we learned that uh, Glee is the show that makes this show look heterosexual. <laughs> also, we learned... Uh, we didn't learn much, actually. We learned that um, uh, Jamie's parents were, uh, were hippies, and she thinks hippies are cool. <laughs> Like, even hippies know they're not cool. They're like, no, we're not cool. In fact, hippies are all now in their 80s, aren't they? Most of them. <laughs> hippies, uh, well, I guess it was uh, San Francisco, Haight-Ashbury, 1967, the summer of love. <laughs> Sorry, you can't say love. It implies fornication. <laughs> Sexual relations. <laughs> the rubbing of bumpies. <laughs> the meshing of wobbly bits. It's sexy time. Uh, you, you bet it is. Although Jeff doesn't have any wobbly bits, all his bits are brittle. <laughs> uh, 
You know, sometimes when I look at Jeff, I think, God, I wish I'd spent my money on a vacation. <laughs> Get out of here. Get my pants. Get out of here.